at last, politics are just mm, marionettes. Yeah, marionettes. Marionette, yeah, puppets. Puppets, yeah, yeah puppets. puppets. Yeah, exactly. Puppets. And puppets. politics at last are puppets of banks. Yeah. But banks are not democratic. We cannot vote for the, for which bank right. we want to. Uh, and, and we say, oh, where is democracy? Everyone thinks different, we know. But all the people are agree that we are going to work with an assembly. We are going to work um, horizontally. Yeah. We are going to work. Everyone can can speak. Everyone can can talk. Everyone. It's, it's very interesting. It's not the, the ideology. It's the methodology. All over the world, people are using the language of horizontal to talk about how they're organizing now in assembly forms, and it implies attempts at breaking down power and not having hierarchy, um, having a form of direct democracy. But saying horizontal means all of that. It's kind of a shorthand for creating new social relationships now, which is amazing. Like in that crack opens something new in history and it's that simultaneous horizontal space that comes out of crisis type moments. The revolution here is from hierarchical to lateral power. That's the power shift. So increasingly a younger generation that's grown up on the internet and now increasingly distributed renewable energies, they're measuring politics in terms of a struggle between centralized, hierarchical, top-down, and closed and proprietary versus distributed, open, collaborative, transparent. This shift from hierarchical to lateral power is going to change the way we live, the way we educate our children, and the way we govern the world.